Yeah, they could sing. They could sing. That was crazy. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is video number 34. As always, we start with gratitude. So thank you to everybody that's watching, sharing, liking, commenting, subscribing. 80% of the people that watch these videos do not subscribe. So if you're watching this right now, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Show your boy some love. I really appreciate it. You can also show me some love by hitting the links in my description to my Amazon or subscribing to my Patreon. All right, so today I'm gonna be reacting to SB19 Korea Times interview. I reacted to a SB19 song before, made the mistake of not turning the captions on, but I still love the song. So I promised the SB19 fans that I would do the interview before I react to any more songs so I can kind of understand them more learn some more about them and where they're coming from. So, see what it's about. Yeah, we gonna go up. Yeah, yeah, we gonna go up. So today we have SB19, a Filipino idol who has a very special and unprecedented they all look really young, like really young. Let me know how old they are in the comments. And to background, because they have been receiving hardcore Korean style idol training under a Korean management agency. So nice to meet you guys, and thank you for your time today. So can you say hi to our viewers? Get in the zone, break, high BR, SB19. Uh, hello everyone, I'm the most charismatic member of SB19, my name is Josh. I am the leader of SB19, my name is Sejin. Uh, I'm SB19's heavily voice, my name is Tel, nice to meet y'all. Hello everyone, I'm the main dancer of SB19, my name is Ken. I'm the youngest member of SB19, my name is Justin. So, you guys are getting popular and popular. I like how they all like stated like their specific trait about them that makes them stand out so i like how even though they're a group like they have certain things about them that make them unique and i like that they stated that when they introduced themselves so that's that's pretty dope popular these days can you feel that that popularity uh, <laughs> yeah sort of, but... sort of a lot of things change because before um we were just like uh we could ride jeep jeans and buses but like right now, we couldn't even uh, get to like ride the jeepney and buses like a normal normal person without uh, anyone recognizing our, our team. So when did that? When did this begin? Like this popularity? I think uh, from what I know, uh, September two. It was when we uploaded our dance practice video, and then overnight, uh, someone posted it on Twitter, and then. Um, a lot of people notice our group that uh, oh, the, these guys are great. Uh, uh, they're very synchronized and whatnot. So uh, we are re we didn't really expect anything at first, but we were so overwhelmed to what happened because, like, we didn't really expect anything. We're, we're so happy and thankful to everyone. Tell me about. Is he talking about September of last year? So they're basically brand new on the scene. Then, if he's talking about last year, like 2020, let me know. Also, their English is really good, like really, really good. The activities that you're doing these days, you're getting busier and busier, right? Actually, after we got viral or after we got, what, what do you call this, attention, attention uh, we are getting lots of TV guestings. And we've been getting lots of attentions in the Philippines nowadays. We're planning to uh, have 10 concerts, 10 concerts for 10 different cities in the Philippines nationwide and it's gonna be the first time that it's going to be for free yes and we're, we're really planning it very well and we're uh trying to prepare for it a lot i heard your song and i saw your music video and i was very impressed you guys are so good at dancing <laughs> right so the practice the training must have been really tough right tell me about that about the training actually um before we release our song go up uh, we make sure that everything was perfect and we practiced our song 1000 times before we, we release the song and the dance practice because we want to show everyone that practice will never betray you oh that paper uh, every day we practice uh, 30 times sing and dance go up and then we will put stamp every time we do runs and then after 
um, we will show it to our teacher and she, she will. Sound, well done. Well done, <laughs> every day, every day. Wow, so I heard that there were more members yeah. at the beginning and the five of you debuted. Tell me about the other um, members who left. Training for three to four years is really hard here in the Philippines without earning something. So, and here in the Philippines, uh, family is really important. You have to like give back to them, the responsibility to, uh, to help them with all the financial things. So maybe that's the turning point where they decide uh, I couldn't do this for this long, so. So you guys receive a lot of comments from your fans that you guys are really talented compared to other Filipino boy groups, right? What do you think is the difference between Filipino boy groups and you guys? But we couldn't say that we are really better than them because we respect them as well. I, I mean, they're, they're uh, yeah, actually we look up to uh, many artists in the, in the Philippines as well. So we don't, we don't want to consider us as better group, but all of us have different types of talents or, you know, a unique style of how it would appeal to people. What is Filipino style? There's what we call uh, hugot. It means like uh, we're trying to get from our deep, deep feeling. We, we're trying to express our deep, deep feeling regarding to love experiences and something like that. Filipinos usually likes a uh, very emotional uh, thing. like Sad, sad. sad. Specifically sad songs. Yeah. And then um, for the go up, the latest single of our group, uh, it's called Go, go Up. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go up. There came this point that uh, we, we, ha we almost gave up, we almost uh, separated. And then we talked like, uh, maybe this is our last shot. This is going to be our last shot. And uh, like we, we talked to each other. Let's get everything here. Let's pour everything here. So we decided to make a song about the story of SB19. It's about reaching your dreams and your hardships and everything that no matter what happens, like if you set your heart and your mind into something that you really want to do in life, you will be able to achieve it and you will be successful. And in time, everything will, yeah, <laughs> will happen. Then speaking of that, tell me more about your hardships. Like why did you guys try to split up what we're trying to do is a new thing here and uh anyone actually here in the philippines uh, performing is not a practical way of l a living other trainings that we had before they couldn't handle the stress they couldn't handle everything and especially physically you would be uh exhausted in training as well so we're, we are not sure about this path. Uh, it's like, we have this uh, saying in the Philippines, uh, suntok sabuan. It's like an impossible way of trying to reach your dreams. So we just tried our best and tried our luck and we just believed in ourselves. <laughs> so do you think you guys are getting closer to your dreams now? We're starting now. We're starting. We are starting. We're still far for, for, from our dreams, uh, but we are slowly getting there. Yeah. yeah. So I want to see what you can show us. Oh. Like, do you guys all have talents, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, let's start from the youngest. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't even have to We till the sun hides Cause the brightest stars are the ones that live in your eyes But love dies With a pile look up to the sky We put my knees in the ground I keep on asking why oh. <laughs> Next, Next is Next. our Next. main dancer Main dancer Let's go hey. <laughs> We want to show the uh, our ballad song oh. Our debut song One. Two. You're a great singer. Yeah, they could sing. They could sing. That was crazy.
Oh, I almost so cried. Oh, oh, unrequited you so much. love, right? Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh. You deserve more attention. Thank I you think. so much. Actually, for for the record, uh, <laughs> he wrote the lyrics. We oh, we, 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 we help each other. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. So you guys write the song? Write, write song, the song, choreograph the song. song. All of our songs we write and choreograph. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, I always watch this show in Korea called Show Me The Money. I love that show. Show Me The Money. And um, I have this dream of uh, like joining the competition. So, I tried to write a rap verse in Korean and English. What's up, non Pilipina? So, what's up? I came here and then I saw all that's left is to conquer. Woo! No banjagi, no mokori, no got be son accessory. Ain't got no fancy jewelry and living a life of luxury. But from the southwest of this, I flew a from and took the risk. Biengi ganopi na jimo teso en yam yones kis mugob gitemuni. Oh! This is a K-pop song. It's called I Need You. I need you, girl. 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 So, do you guys have a role model, like role model idol group, or what kind of group do you want to become? We have lots of idols, especially in Korea. Uh, personally, I like G Dragon. We have the common ground. <laughs> <laughs> the common ground. As a group, we look up to BTS. Uh, for me, I love Zico, Dean, and yeah. I really like uh, GOT7. My favorite member there is the leader, JB. What's the next goal for you guys? Do you want to expand your presence in the world? Or like, do you want to um, take on another challenge like acting and all that kind of stuff? What's your next goal? Uh, if we're given the opportunity to act also, we would love to do that. But for now, we're focused on um, promoting our music all over all over the Philippines and hopefully uh, if we're given the chance to perform internationally or globally uh, we would be honored and grateful to do so we will always always bring you good performances better than yesterday and uh, we will always be humble and uh, we will always always remember what you have done for us and uh, we love you so much I hope you keep on supporting us we will go Alright guys, so that was my reaction to the SB19 Korea Times interview. I really enjoyed that. That that taught me a lot into their background and who they are. And you could tell they're really committed, like they're really committed to their craft, which I appreciate. One of the things that they said that stood out to me was that they practice 30 times before they leave like a practice session which is insane. I can only imagine the amount of effort that goes into that. So that type of dedication you really have to applaud. I also noticed how like humble they are, like they're really humble, which is refreshing. And I feel like just with that type of attitude, they're definitely gonna go far if they're not already, I don't know how big they are, but they're definitely gonna be bigger just with like how humble and appreciative they are. And I kind of noticed that with um, people from the Philippines, like Manny Pacquiao, one of the greatest boxers of all time, is also like one of the most humble boxers, humble human beings I've ever seen. I've never met him personally, but he like his humbleness just kind of trans transcends. So I don't know, maybe that's a Filipino trait where people are just extremely humble, but I appreciate that. Like it's very refreshing to see. And they're extremely talented, the way they were singing and how they were harmonizing. You know, that was giving me goosebumps. I know I'm like not super energetic, so you can't always tell, but overall that was amazing. I'm definitely going to be keeping tabs on them. I'm going to be reacting to more of their songs. So please let me know whatever song they have that comes out because I will react to it. I will be keeping tabs on them and following them, like I said. So I enjoyed that. That gave me a lot of insight. So now going forward, I know them. I know what to expect. And yeah, we'll see how they do going forward. So if you like my reaction to that, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 
I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, peace.